Hello everyone and welcome to another episode in our Let's Play series. And today we are going to do a world tour uh, to see everything we build in this world in almost one year of gameplay, right? Uh, because today is uh, June 15 and we started this world in the Nether update at uh, June 23 of 2020, right? So it's pretty much almost one year, right? Just one week left to complete the year. And during all the uh, tour, uh, you can see the coordinates here on the uh, top left corner of our screen, just so you uh, can have an idea where uh, all the builds are in relation to each other, right? So the first build we are here is uh, our nether hub, right? Or our mega nether hub hive, uh, because I made it with Mostly it's just honeycomb blocks and uh, blackstone bricks, right? To look like a, a honeycomb, I guess. And yeah, it, uh, each tunnel goes inside of one of these uh, big honeycombs here, right? And yeah, right now we have the fog turned off in the nether. So we can see everything uh, clear, right? But let me activate the fog and see how it looks. Okay, so now we have the fog activated here. And yeah, it's a little bit harder to see. But yeah, as you can notice, uh, the nether hub is half in uh, soul sand biome and the other half is in a basalt delta biome, right? And I guess I also turned off the particles. <laughs> okay, now we have the particles. So yeah, you can see the particles uh, of the basalt delta biomes, right? And I don't know, I think it looks cool with fog too, but it's really hard to uh, to see on YouTube. That's why I, I usually play with the fog off, right? Yeah, okay, so I turned the fog back off just to be easier to see on YouTube, right? And let's go in one of these tunnels here, and yeah, as you can see, each tunnel has a banner to uh, kind of show where it goes. And this one goes to the Wither farm. So yeah, we have this nether fortress that is in a Soul Sand Valley biome. So I didn't have to uh, place buttons or whatever, right, in a lot of places, just in the fortress itself, in this little bit here that is a uh, nether waste biome so yeah here we have the uh, wither skeleton farm right and we use the uh, i guess the the technique that everyone is using now that is uh, placing uh, wither roses on grass or whatever and using the piglings to attract the withers right but since this is a double uh, platform here, we have two buildings up there, and then we have another one there just to centralize the uh, withers here. Yeah, and also in the same fortress here, uh, we have a blaze farm. It's just a, a simple. Oh my god, I'm on fire. Okay, so it's a, a simple blaze farm with a spawner, and the blaze get pushed by uh, lava here, right? And then we can. Uh, killed in here. Yeah, but it's just a simple blaze farm. It's not that fast, but I guess uh, It does uh, what we need, right? Yeah, another thing we have here in the nether is the piglin battering farm Yeah, so we have these 64 zombie piglins here. So let me get some gold uh, to show you guys how it works Okay, so I got some gold here and uh, we just throw the gold here And wait for them to get everything, I guess I didn't throw far enough. Yeah, and then they will throw stuff at me. And uh, this is a, a trash can where I can throw stuff that I don't want. And everything else I just place in uh, one of these choker boxes here. And later I will uh, move this to my star, right? And another place we have uh, here in the nether is here. That's it. Uh, as you can see, there was something here, right? But there is not anymore, and that was a, a bastion. So we mined the whole bastion to gather resources, uh, especially the blackstone bricks, right? 
and uh, this was one of the, the best ones that have the uh, magma cube spawner so I did this farm here and I also have a, a basalt farm here right but both of these farms I don't really use it because yeah uh, this one is very slow and basalt I got a bunch uh, while making the nether hub so I don't really need to uh, use that farm and by the way uh, destroying this fortress was part of a mega episode uh, episode 26 uh, where we collect a whole bunch of resources uh, one of them was the nether fortress and another one is right on the other side of this portal yeah, and that is the desert right so we collect a whole bunch of sand and sandstone here so yeah that's why the desert looks a little bit <laughs> Uh, destroyed right <laughs> but yeah, I still have a whole bunch of desert left if I need more sand or sandstone right so yeah but uh, we did collect the, I think it was about 600,000 uh, sand and I don't know how much sandstone sandstone is much less but sand is very useful right for concrete and TNT right Okay, now let's go check out the end, right? So first I will show the end portal. Yeah, so this was one of the strongholds, right? So uh, we have an end portal here, right? And I did this decoration that's kind of simple. It's just like uh, crying obsidian on top and uh, blackstone on the walls and nether brick and quartz on the floor, right? And this floating... Uh, and crystals here uh, but let me take a night vision potion because on youtube it's really hard to see this room when it's very dark right yeah so this way you can see better and of course there is our nether portal there and here we have the end portal with some beacons uh, that's kind of like the the end is spelling out the energy in the overworld right and it kind of looks cool here Except that another hacker left there. <laughs> but yeah, let's go to the end now and see how stuff looks there. Okay, so we are here at the end, right? This is the uh, spawn obsidian platform. And yeah, you may note that uh, we are a little bit short on end stone here. <laughs> yeah, that's because in another mega episode, episode uh, 39, I mined the whole end island that uh, was here, right? Just so we can build this base. And yeah, this is a enderman that was in my old cactus farm that was down here. And yeah, another one holding the same block. Oh, and I look at the thing. <laughs> but yeah, also we have this enderman farm here that I did a whole bunch of episodes ago. This is I guess my first really good uh, uh, XP farm, right? So we have a whole bunch of endermen here, we can just kill them, get the XP, repair our stuff, right? And this lever here opens so we can throw the ender pearls on the void and also the endermen, right? Yeah. Uh, the idea of this uh, farm is to build the lowest possible, so these trapdoors are in the lowest block possible, right? And yeah, that uh, height is, I think it's 35 or something like that, right? Let's see, it's 31. Yeah, because this is the exactly height that you can one hit kill uh, the Enderman with uh, a sharpness 5 is sweeping edge 3 sword and uh, my strength beacon that's why we have this beacon back here right yeah in the main end base is uh, centralizing the exit portal right and we have some farms around here i'm not gonna explain uh, in detail the farms because there's a lot of farms right so this is a villager farm that uh, produces carrots wheat right potatoes uh, this is a concrete machine that you just uh, come here and place concrete uh, powder here and the pistons uh, push all the concrete here 
and there is a dispenser uh, with TNT over there and yeah, it breaks the concrete, goes in these hoppers and then on this chest uh, this one is a, a nylon farm, so you just place the uh, there is another hack here, and the dropper also drops another hack for you so you uh, can place the another hack in here, right? and the, uh, there is a dispenser there that Bonnie Mills the another hack as you can see yeah, and then you can just come here with a super quick accent uh, grab your nylon. Uh, this other farm is uh, uh, this sweeping vine farms, right? But yeah, it's not producing a lot, but we do have a, a lever here to activate some uh, dispensers here, but I think they are out of bone meal yet because I, I used a lot here. But yeah, I don't really need any more of these vines because I have enough in my storage. And this other one is just a regular vine farm, you just get a shears here and shear them, right? And this farm here is uh, for uh, getting pods, so actually, right? We have a, a silk duck shovel here and more dirt to replace the pods later. But I guess we also get some wood and leaves or saplings. And this here is just a small cactus farm to get some uh, cactus, right? Uh, because I don't really need more cactus, I have a lot because like I said I had a, a big cactus farm before that was down there but I destroyed that because I don't really need more cactus I think and this one is a bamboo farm I guess I could turn this off also because I have a lot of choker boxes of bamboo too but I use bamboo as oh my god and yeah as you can see sometimes or all the time actually Bamboos fly all over, <laughs> but yeah, it's not really a problem because it produces a lot. And uh, this one is a, a a mushroom farm, right? So you step on here and it grows a mushroom. Maybe try to not step uh, so far <laughs> and get hit, right? And then you can use your axe here to get more uh, mushroom seeds or. If you use a silk touch, you can get the blocks, right? Uh, this one is a kelp farm. Uh, this design is by Cub Fang, right? Just the furnace, uh, the furnaces here, the uh, smokers, right? It's a little bit different than his design, but it's pretty much the same. And yeah, we can get some kelp and make kelp blocks, right? Uh, this one is a simple sugarcane farm. Right, just to have some sugarcane being produced while uh, we are here, right? But we also have a bigger sugarcane farm that I'm gonna show uh, later. Uh, this one is a grass farm, so you can mine this grass down here and replace with dirt and it will spread, right? But we also have this uh, note block here that you can press and it will bone meal here, so you can uh, use shears to get this uh, grass here, right? Not the grass block, but this grass, <laughs> if you need it. I don't really use it too much in this farm, because, yeah, not really that useful, right? And this is similar to that one, but with mycelium, right? So we have it, uh, mycelium here, and if you uh, place dirt here, you can grow more mycelium. Yeah, now let's see uh, the center here of the end base. And yeah, here is the exit portal, so you just press this button to go back to the overworld, right? And yeah, on, uh, on this level here we have the uh, storage, right? Yeah, so the way I organize my storage uh, is using this chest here, so I can see where the items are, right? So, for example, if I want to, let's say I want to ride kelp, so I know it's on the second uh, row on top, in the second uh, slot. So, it's on top is here, the second one is here, and the second slot is here. Right, so, yeah, it's easier than, I, I think it's better because if you place a whole bunch of, uh, uh, I think, frames or blocks to signify where they are, it's kind of ugly, I don't know. And also, the item frames sometimes cause too much lag if you have a lot, right? And yeah, this part is a bulk storage, so stuff we have a lot, like sand and uh, grass, stone, right? 
cobblestone and usually on top here I place the uh, choker box is full right so for example here in stacks we have a, a whole bunch of choker boxes yeah and I didn't do a, a episode showing my uh, squid farm but I will explain later in, in this world tour why <laughs> yeah and uh, on this part here we have a multi-item sorter right there is some mine cards that go down and uh, right <laughs> I have a video explaining this better if you wanna uh, watch, but yeah, and yeah, he, he, uh, it separates the items in categories, right? So here, for example, is headstone stuff. Here is slabs, stairs, uh, walls and fences, coral, uh, yeah, other stuff, right? So yeah, and also about by the way, this uh, ancient debris also from the resource gathering episode, uh, episode 26 and uh, down here we have a winter rose farm yeah so I guess I could show this how it works I just need to get some eggs I just need to get some eggs which we do have here so yeah well, here we have uh, uh, some other farms here's some uh, uh, manual uh, potatoes and carrots and wheat right uh, and here is the oops the nether wart farm right I, I like to do like this because then you can use a farton X or pickaxe or whatever to collect and you'll get more uh, this one is for cocoa beans of course this is for the flowers uh, this one you can use bony meal to grow more crops or also cocoa beans here uh, this is for ferns yeah, so you can farm ferns. Uh, this one is for the stuff that grows on these nether blocks here, right? Like the those kind of nether grass, right? And this one is the same, but it's actually for this uh, kind of uh, grass here, because this one you need to use uh, shears to get. You can just use pistons, right? But these other stuff here, you can use pistons or whatever, right? And this here is for getting snow balls, right? Or snow layers if you use it to touch. And I guess, oh yeah, of course, the egg farm. <laughs> yeah, the egg farm is too complicated. I'm not gonna explain how it works. Yes, yeah, I'm just gonna get some eggs here. Okay, so how this farm works is first you. Uh, place eggs in the dispensers here, right? And then you uh, activate this lever that will spawn some chickens there. Okay, and yeah, now oh, I forgot to place so saint there. That was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, but good thing we don't have the, uh, too many chickens. Uh, I think we have some angel pearls here. Okay. Yeah, we can kind of phase through the glass here using angel pearls. And yeah, we can spawn the wither here. Yeah, if I forgot to place the uh, soul sand uh, before or after we spawn too many chickens, it's impossible. <laughs> But yeah, now we can place one head in each of the dispensers here. Uh, usually I use a poison potion to uh, leave the chickens to uh, one heart, but yeah, I don't really need that. Yeah, so now we spawn the wither. And we shall see that some of the chickens will survive. Yeah, I lowered the volume here. <laughs> Yeah, but we can press this button here and the water will push the chickens closer to the wither and as you can see they will end up dying Yeah, so this is a really good thing to do because yeah, even if you use the poison potion sometimes the chicken uh, don't die because of uh, they are too far, right? Yeah, and then just come here and kill the wither and yeah, we get some with the roses and uh, yeah, need to remember to replace the soul sand, which I, I guess I didn't, right? And yeah, I guess I had some 
another uh, signs left here. Yeah, but as you can see, we get some Wither Roses. Of course, if, uh, when I really trying to get Wither Roses, I, I use a bunch of eggs, right? Because I do have uh, a lot of eggs here, as you can see, a bunch of choker box. Uh, because I have an egg farm at spawn too, I uh, will show that later. Yeah, okay, and also we do have some other stuff in the uh, gateways here. Not in all of them yet, but in some of them. Yeah, so this first gateway here we have is some villager trading, right? So this one, for example, uh, is for the uh, fishermen, right? And I mostly use this to get campfires uh, because it's kind of uh, expensive to craft campfires, right? You use a lot of wood. So, yeah, I, I had her just uh, buy with emeralds, right? Uh, this other one uh, we did the upgrade recently. It's a uh, uh, farm for glass mostly, right? But yeah, we also cured all the uh, villagers here. I think it was four times to get one paper for one emerald. And yeah, we have this big sugarcane farm here uh, that uses a flying machine to get sugarcane, right? So yeah, we can get some sugarcane. I think we have a whole bunch of, yeah, to trade it for emeralds and then buy glass, right? It's basically a glass farm. And this one is for the farmers, but I just remember I forgot to show this farm down here. Yeah, this is a, a looks like an Enderman farm, right? But it's actually a melon and pumpkin farm. So yeah, we have melons planted here, right? Uh, yeah, actually it's just melons, right? Uh, because uh, we have a, a, the pumpkin farm here that's just a... Uh, uh, this, I think it's also you mango design right uh, with observers and pistons right and yeah this other farm here is just for melons so as you can see some of the endermen uh, grab the melons right and then when they die they drop the melons in the uh, hopper there and yeah we have a whole bunch of melons here and also pumpkins from the other farm there yeah, and then we get those melons and uh, pumpkins and also potatoes and carrots and we trade with these villagers here for uh, emeralds, right? So I think we have some melons here, yeah. Yeah, so these farmers here, mostly I just uh, trade for emeralds and buy, uh, sometimes I buy cake, okay? And buy golden carrots. And yeah, the next two villagers here are the masons. Yeah, so these ones we can buy bricks and quartz mostly, right? Uh, they also sell terracotta and some other stuff, but mostly I buy bricks and quartz, right? Yeah, this. In this one I have a little bit more villagers because, yeah, when they, when you buy quartz, you only get one block, right, for um, for each emerald, so it's a little bit slower. And this one is the last uh, villagers we have. And these are the clerics, and yeah, I brought some hot and flesh here from my uh, piglin farm, right? Or zombified piglin. And yeah, we sell hot and flesh for them and buy uh, headstone, laps, glowstone, and sometimes XP bottles too, I guess. This next one here is our super smelter. So yeah, this is uh, 512. Uh, furnaces, right? And it smelts one choker box in 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, really fast or at least fast enough for me because I don't really use it that much, you know, because uh, like I said, I have the glass farm there with the villagers and I don't know, there's not much stuff left to smelt in this game, right? I guess we can smelt this smooth stone and maybe cracked stone bricks. And yeah, maybe there is some other stuff. Uh, sometimes we need glazed terracotta, right? But yeah, it's I don't know. <laughs> I don't use it, this smelter that much, I guess. And this next farm here is a, a farm to get bees, right? So yeah, we have a bunch of bees here. This is kind of lag, <laughs> and we uh, breed them, and then we place this. Uh, honeycombs here, right? Or uh, these hives, right? And wait for them to enter the hives 
and then we can use a silk touch X to get the hives and yeah, on the next gateway that's actually close to here so we can fly uh, we have this uh, big honeycomb farm so yeah this is why we built that farm to get some uh, hives and build this honeycomb farm so yeah we have a whole bunch of honey uh, hives there and uh, dispensers with shears right and yeah there is a minecart that goes under the grass here to collect uh, the honeycombs and also as you can see it's activated because the minecart uh, got here to this uh, detector rail that activates all the uh, dispensers right and yeah of course this farm is huge and we get a lot of uh, honeycombs because i needed this to make the nether portal or the nether uh, hood right and also the nether tunnel so i will still use need to use this farm a lot and yeah because i i don't afk in this world i have this platform here so i can chop some trees or nether trees uh, while i'm waiting for the beast to uh, make some of these honeycombs right yeah so i think this is it for uh, the end here I do want to make some more farms as you saw there we have a honey block because i want to do a honey bottle farm there here we have an iron block because i want to do an iron block farm here right uh, or an iron farm here right so yeah there, there is more farms i will make here but uh, for now that's all we have here so let's go back to the overworld now and see uh, what kind of stuff we built there Okay, so we are here at spawn and it's becoming day, so I will fly around a little bit here uh, just so you guys notice that it's night time still, but we don't have any mobs here. And yeah, that's because I also made something that I didn't show in video yet, that is here next to our uh, nether portal here, that is a, a mob switch, right? So we make some uh zombie villagers and trade with them right before they become zombies of course and yeah uh if i press f3 and g uh, we have the chunk borders here and this chunk here is inside the spawn chunks and this one is outside yeah so what happens is uh, while they are here inside the spawn chunks no mobs spawn anywhere because there is uh, 70 villagers here which they call the mob cap right and i actually gonna now activate uh, this right to let the mobs spawn because we of course are gonna see some mob farms in the world tour and yeah if we, uh, the mobs are not spawning it's gonna be a little bit harder to see the mob farms so yeah now that they are on this side mobs will spawn in other places right and yeah we didn't build too much stuff here on spawn there is this uh, zombie village here that was uh, since from the beginning right and i also built this uh, honey farm here right but i think it's uh, deactivated because i removed all the shears and the honey and uh, glass bottles from the dispensers right because yeah we have the big honeycomb farm now and uh, the honey bottles i will do another farm also so yeah i will probably remove these bees here because since they are at spawn they cause lag all the time right and here we have a iron farm right and the egg farm yeah and these are producing a lot of stuff because they are on spawn and they are loaded all the time right but yeah, I think that's it for spawn. And yeah, also this uh, mob switch here, I didn't show it in video yet. I uh, did this in a live stream. And I did this uh, because of the project I'm working now that I will show you guys uh, at the end of this world tour, right? It's the perimeter. And yeah, I did this because yeah, the mobs are kind of annoying when you are mining, right? Okay, now we are at the desert base. Uh, this was the first base I built in this world, right? Uh, when I started playing here. Yeah, so we have a, a whole bunch of builds here. Most of them are just for 
uh, decoration with little stuff right like this one here for example uh, is a dance floor yeah when you place your disc there the lights turn on and the parrot starts dancing and yeah when you remove the disc the lights stop <laughs> Yeah, here we have some other builds, a diner that's just for uh, decoration, right? I guess we, we can also get some food here. <laughs> uh, this one is a cake farm, right? So we have all the ingredients here to make a cake, right? So I think now, yeah, everything is ready, so all the chimneys has have smoke, right? So we can get the egg, get the milk, and we press this button and get the uh, wheat and uh, uh, sugar, right? So we can make sugar and make a cake. And yeah, we have uh, only the buckets left that we can uh, use again next time. And we also have some seeds left that we we can use here to get more uh bone meal oh actually i should have planted three of those uh okay yeah and also here is where we place some of the cakes yeah here we have a witch hut just for decoration uh pier to fish here right or to just sit down uh, we have a potato carrots and a wheat farm here we have a uh, wool farm here with all the colors right and we have this central park here or central uh, fountain right uh, here we have our first mine that's down there that's where we uh, mined at the start of the uh, let's play right here we have this nether portal right uh, here we have a map room that has a 8000 by 8000 map centered in uh, the world spawn in a cat. Yeah, here we have an enchanting room uh, that I actually never used, I guess, because uh, before we had a mob farm on the top there, and I guess spoilers for the gold farm, and yeah, we have the mob farm there and the enchanter was there but yeah i removed the mob farm because it was just a floating ugly thinking we don't really need that mob farm anymore and yeah here is also just a decoration build the smelter right and here is a just some place for the cows right and yeah this leg is the gold farm loading but first i need to show the pyramid here Oh, and I guess also we have the the target range here, so we can press our targets, <laughs> our shots, right? And yeah, this pyramid here, I use it as a... Oh my god, I forgot. Yeah, okay, so as I was saying, <laughs> yeah, here we have a, our pyramid that I actually use as a storage, a book storage, right? Yeah, mostly we are moving the stuff we are mining the perimeter right now, so stone, cobblestone, granite on the side, right? But we also have all the stone that we mined from the end here. Yeah, so each uh, row has 11 uh, blocks long and 7 tall, so that's like 77 barrels worth of stone in each row here. <laughs> Oh yeah, and also we have this big thing here, that's a uh, villager hall, right? So we have all the book trades here, and also uh, one of each, the professions, and a whole bunch of masons here, because I used this in the beginning to get uh, some quartz, right? And as we saw in the spoilers, we have a gold farm here, that is just a... A little bit of portals right <laughs> yeah yeah so the whole uh, reason we have this gold farm is because I'm trying to play this world without using too many bleaches and exploits right I do use some like uh, the uh, wither under the in the portal right and I guess the mob switch could be considered also 
a little bit exploit, right? But yeah, I don't go, for example, on top of the bedrock in the nether, that's why I can't uh, build a gold farm there, so I built this one, oops, which did it took a, a little bit of time to build, of course, because we had to mine in obsidian, and then builder, and all that stuff, right? But also the good thing about this farm is that uh, it works even if the mob switch is on, right? Uh, because the piglins spawning on on portals ignore the mob cap and everything like that, right? Okay, in close here to the gold farm, let's just take a, another final look at the gold farm. <laughs> yeah, close here we have another a big farm that's a creeper farm, right? This is one of the reasons why we had to uh, turn off the the mob switch, right? Because otherwise this farm doesn't work. Oh, and I guess I can open this. Yeah, so uh, here the the creeper is found down here, right? And we can uh, use this sword here to get gunpowder, right? Yeah, usually they are on hit kill, but uh, it was with the water turned it on, on there, right? Yeah, but now they are one hit kill, most of them. <laughs> Yeah, so this is for getting them powder, but we also can open a block there with that piston, as you can see, and the skeleton will uh, see us, let's see if he's shooting, yeah, he's shooting, and uh, we will get some discs, uh, I guess the discs is probably, yeah, here, because the, the hoppers were full of them powder, but yeah. We do get a whole bunch of discs, which uh, this is that kind of farm that you use one time and never needs, never need to use anymore. And yeah, this lever that was on activates some pistons there and some water that brings the creepers uh, to this fence gate here. So let me kill some of the creepers so we can uh, get new ones to spawn. Yeah, and. Yeah, the creepers will be pushed in that fence gate, and we can get some uh, name tags here. Yeah, and they are coming, so we can press this note block, and the creeper will come down here, but I guess we need to close that first. And we can rename the creeper, and open this, and yeah, they will go all the way through this uh, water tunnel here. And they will get inside uh, this chamber here, and yeah, as you can see, this is for getting uh, charged creepers, right? So we wait for a thunderstorm and hit this armor stand with a uh, trident, right? And yeah, we get a whole bunch of charged creepers. And here we have a simple mob farm, uh, just to get uh, mobs, right? And this button gets a mob from the mob farm, this one gets a charged creeper, and this one activates both at the same time. Yeah, so we get a zombie and the charged creeper, and now we need a uh, thing still. Yeah, and now, uh, just let me... Oops, I wasn't supposed to do that. Yeah, let me check, yeah, there is some stuff there, but no heads, so we can... Uh, we can steal the creeper, uh, he kills the zombie, and we get a zombie head, right? So yeah, that's how the uh, farm works. The uh, the hard part about this farm is waiting for a thunderstorm, I guess. But yeah, that's it, and I guess I can show you guys a little bit better the creeper farm here, if we take a night vision photo. So yeah, it's just some cats here, right? And we have these trap doors, and yeah, the creepers try to go to the other side there, and they fall in uh, water uh, that funnels them uh, to the middle here, and yeah, that's where they fall to their demise. <laughs> and yeah, we have a whole bunch of jelly cats, and I think we have some black cats also, yeah, because that's the cats I brought here to breed. <laughs> Yeah, and also next to here to the creeper farm, there is some more farms as you can probably see, right? 
so yeah I will come back to this one so first let's go to this one that's a uh, drown farm so yeah I guess since we also already have a night vision we can see that yeah some drowns spawn here and they uh, go slowly fall down all the way to the bottom here and when they get here they will see that turtle egg there and they will try to get the turtle egg and will go in this uh, soul sand water here and they will get all the way up there where we are waiting uh, with a looting sword to kill them and get their tridents and stuff right this is a a little bit of a slow farm <laughs> if I am being honest right but yeah and next to the uh, guardian farm here we have the uh, villager outpost down there let me try to show you guys yeah so we had a village outpost here so I made a bad homing farm yeah so the role the whole reason for this farm is to get bad omen yeah so we get a sword and kill the uh, the villagers here right until we get bad omen 5 or however level you want right and then we go here to the raid farm so yeah when you come here to the raid farm there is a villager down there and yeah here is actually where the uh, pillagers spawn right and you have some lava there to kill the avengers and yeah when we press this button uh, we get water released there for a little bit just to push the pillagers there so we can kill them and the avengers uh, die for the lava here and yeah we have this villager here and yeah uh, after we kill all the raids right we get here of the village and about 500 blocks this way we have a hero of the village farm right so uh, or a gift farm right where the villagers uh, gives us gifts right because we have the hero of the village effect right and yeah, as you can see, it's just a, a place with a whole bunch of villagers, right? There is about 220 villagers here. And we also have a bed here, because they only give gifts at daytime, so sometimes we need to sleep, right? And also there is this farm here that we uh, can use to get some carved pumpkins while we are waiting uh, for the, the villagers to... Uh, gives uh, give us the gifts, right? Yeah, but I, I need to stay in here, right? So they see me throw some gifts. Yeah, but let's get out of here because it's too much villager noise and let's go to the next build. Yeah, so a few hundred blocks uh, south from the creeper farm, we have this ice farm here. So it's just a simple ice farm with some uh, waterlogged slabs here. And yeah, when you mine all the ice in one of the sides here, uh, the water uh, starts to form again and uh, form more ice cubes here, right? Or solid water, right? Yeah, so that's it. And uh, yeah, we make a lot of platforms. So uh, while we are mining one, the other ones are uh, he's stalking, right? Or he freezing I don't know what's the correct word yeah and also in a recent episode we uh, did this mountain around the farm because it was kind of floating in the air and yeah now it has this mountain here that I guess it looks better than floating but I don't know if it's a really good terraforming on my part <laughs> okay now we are here at our guardian farm and I guess they kind of glitch out the slabs here but yeah this is just a, a big uh, water tank with soul sand and then there is some water uh, currents pushing all them here to the center and yeah we do have some soul cane fire here but we, we can just use a shovel to unleaf them and kill them uh, with a sword or with potions right 
and yeah the items go through these filters and yeah we have a, a whole bunch of filters here for uh, the prismarine, prismarine crystals and some other stuff here for the fishes and whatever but you don't really get too much of the other stuff right and yeah I tried to make some decoration here and yeah I made this pretty much standard minecraft statues right but I want to make some better statues here probably using copper right now that we now we have the copper in 1.17 right but yeah I guess that's it for the guardian farm yeah in here we have our underwater base right it's in a coral uh, reef biome here right yeah so we do have some builds that are just for aesthetics right like this kind of underwater houses in this place here right uh, this is just for the conduit right but we also have some farms here that are actually kind of useful so this one is for pickles yeah so we can I'm gonna turn this on and get some sea peoples here, right? And this other one is for uh, these corals here, right? Because if we use silk touch, we can get them, right? And we can get rid of this uh, seagrass here, or we can also actually use shears to get them. And yeah, I think there is some bone meal here, and we just press this uh, note block, and it will. Uh, bone meal the ground again so we can get more uh, coral right but yeah i guess that's it for the underwater base maybe we will build more stuff here right in the future so i guess subscribe <laughs> to see the next episodes i guess i don't know let's go to the next build <laughs> yeah in far far away we have our mesa western town with a whole bunch of western builds, right? So we have a train here, and yeah, the nether portal is the train station. <laughs> we have this uh, villager pacifying station here that I used in uh, last episode, actually, right? To make some villagers and yeah, bring them with minecarts to appear in the town. Yeah, and here we have a whole bunch of builds right and also i brought some villagers to the builds like uh, here in the church we have a caster that's just a priest not a undercover assassin and here we have the uh, police station where we have our criminals crooked and ginger right here we have a pharmacy right uh, where we have smoke kush selling herbs at the farm <laughs> uh, here we have the bank we have a raging rene here and we have a, a vault with all go my gold and the emeralds well not all but <laughs> some golden emeralds we have a, this door here yeah we have a horse stable here with all these uh, horses, right? They are horses. We have a, a bar here. Uh, Price and Rage are here. Rage, of course, is always trying to pull the dance here. <laughs> and yeah, there is a upstairs also with more bar stuff. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, here we have a saloon. Yeah, and I think Mary is here, where is she? Oh, she's going up the, the ladder to get some some marbles in, in the barrels, I guess. Yeah, nice job floating there. Yeah, and here we have some houses or just bedrooms, I don't know, right? And yeah, I'll go all the way up there and uh, behind here we have this water tower and this hotel here was the first build we did here and I think Nina is here where is she? now oh, she's here in the, the sheriff's 
sweet sheriff's room. Yeah, but uh, on the last episode, I of course on purpose, not because I am dumb, I I misspelled Nina's name just to see if anyone noticed, and no one noticed. So yeah, you all failed. Nina actually has two eyes. <laughs> two two eyes, not the two eyes that you used to see two leather eye. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna shut up now. Yeah, and also we have a mine shaft here, right? Yeah, with some decoration. And this is just for decoration, I guess. It doesn't even have anything inside the shafts. And there is also a elevator here to go down to the mine shaft, right? Yeah, so here we have a, some rails and ores on the walls, right? And we also, I found this uh, kind of water lake here and maybe this starts through there just because I think it's cool, I don't know. Yeah and also I made this uh, chair here to fish a little bit here, right? Just so we have an excuse to come back here. And also I guess I, I need to spend some time here to uh, wait for more patrols to spawn, right? So we can get more villagers here because of course I I want to uh, put more of my subscribers and friends here, right? Yeah, but I also plan on making villagers on other places in my world. So yeah, if you want your name on a villager, uh, tell me in the comments or in Discord, I guess. Okay, so the next uh, place we need to show is our oriental base here, right? In the bamboo jungle. It's uh, Actually, I think it's the most beautiful place in my world. To Probably, I don't know. Yeah, so we have this build here that was the first one I did, right? Uh, it's just a simple house here, but actually it's the only build that has an interior. <laughs> and we have these kind of bridges here, and sometimes we have pandas here, because yeah, of course there were some pandas in these bamboo jungles. Uh, we have a simple design here for the portal. And we have this building here that's just for a transition here in the roads, right? There is not uh, really much on the inside. And yeah, we also have some cherry trees as you can see, right? And we have this other build here. Let me try to show a little bit on the top because yeah, there's some roofs, right? Yeah, and I really like the building this uh, oriental style, so yeah, probably we'll build more here or maybe build another oriental uh, village, right? And here we have uh, the turtles. Yeah, this is actually a turtle egg farm, so we feed the turtles and then just mine the eggs here, right? And here we have another bridge, another transition. I also tried to make some corals here, but I don't know if they... Uh, looking very good here. Ah, uh, sick panda. <laughs> yeah, and then just a, a blossom tree here, right? Another uh, cherry blossom tree here. And we also have this uh, build here, right? Pretty cool. Yeah, it doesn't have anything in the interior, uh, but it does look really cool. And we have this other temple here on top of the mountain also no interior but looks really cool and I guess since it's becoming night let's try to yeah take a look at the builds at night yeah I think it, they look really cool right I'm pretty happy with this area here yeah and also we have a, a really big staircase here to go uh, to the temple on top of the mountain. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, so I guess let's go to the next build. Okay, now we are in the swamp base, right? So we do have this uh, flower farm here, right? For the... Oops. For the uh, blue orchid, right? That's the swamp flower. And there is a... A spider trying to kill me here and zombies. 
Yeah, but I wanna show this place at night also. Yeah, we made some custom trees around here, right? I guess there is like three custom trees. And there is that one was a witch hut. And yeah, I think the witch is actually still here. Yeah, it's inside here. But we uh, expanded the witch hut, right? And also there is, uh, I guess I made this uh, it's kind of a barrier, right? To the lake. And there is also two houses here. Yeah, we actually need to build more stuff here because. Yeah, there is only a few builds here, I guess. Yeah, this is another house here. Uh, here we can see the back of that first house, right? And I guess, yeah, we have it. We can have a look at this house better from here or from this other angle. Yeah, it's a, a pretty cool build, but. Yeah, we need to, to build more stuff here, as I said. And yeah, of course, we also have this nether portal that was actually a, a ruined nether portal that was here, right? Yeah, so let's go to the next build before I die here. Okay, so we are here at our next build, that's the jungle base, right? Yeah, so uh, this is another jungle different from the... Uh, the one we have the oriental base right and we built some houses here no interiors of course <laughs> yeah and we built it in a bunch of different styles with different blocks different sizes right just a whole bunch of houses right there's a little bit on the other side too right i guess we can also take a look from the top here but I really like this area, uh, especially because I uh, switched the lake here all for sand, right? So, yeah, where we had the dirt or gravel, I replaced with sand and made these uh, walls here that I think it look really cool. I guess it looks better at daytime. I will uh, show you guys at daytime, but first I want to show uh, the temple that's kind of behind here. Uh, at night, right? So it's pretty cool also. Yeah, we do have a ruined portal here, but I didn't uh, do anything with it. Yeah, so I guess let me sleep here and show you guys at daytime, right? Yeah, okay, so this is how it looks at daytime. <laughs> yeah, like I said, the, the walls here, I think they look really cool, right? I think it's because the the grass and everything else is like so much brighter in the jungle, right? And yeah, we also have this tunnel that goes uh, to the temple here, right? And we can go on, uh, here on top of the temple. And yeah, we have this kind of totem here. I don't know what is this. <laughs> But yeah, we also can go inside the temple. We have this cool door here. And uh, inside the temple, actually... Yeah, I turned the blocks volume a little bit up. Because inside the temple we have some uh, maze, right? And we have some doors that open and close randomly. I think this is one, right? But yeah, I think I need to change a little bit the headstone because they take too long to open and close, right? And also, I better get out of here uh, before I get lost. <laughs> but yeah, there is amazing... Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do the maze because it takes a little bit of time, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. So yeah, this uh, room here is on the center of the uh, temple and you have some gold here and yeah, then you can leave uh, the, the maze by just pressing this button and going back. But yeah, you also heard the door activating yeah, because the door is activated randomly, right? Uh, actually, let me try to show you guys that. Yeah, okay, so we are... Uh, here on the headstone, right? 
So as you can see, there is a an item on the cobweb, and when that item gets to this hopper here, it activates the headstone. And yeah, if it's a regular item, it doesn't toggle the door. But if it's a unstackable item, it will open or close the door, right? It will toggle the door. So yeah, you can see we have a whole bunch of doors here, and this is the center of the maze, right? Where we, we get our uh, gold block there, our gold blocks, and then we can get out of the maze. And also, I guess we get some ocelots here. <laughs> And yeah, also here uh, next to the portal and the houses, uh, we have another place here that goes down actually to a stronghold. So yeah, we have another end portal here, right? And I did the, uh, renovate a little bit the stronghold because usually it is kind of broken, right? Yeah, and I also connected some rooms and make some more uh, tunnels, right? Just to make a little bit different I guess but yeah, I think that's it for uh, this jungle base here so let's go uh, to the next build okay so we are here in our next build and this is actually a whole bunch of flower farms in some floating islands right and yeah if I get some one meal here I can show you guys how this works so uh, each uh, island has a pixel art of a flower and that's the flower we get in that item right so for example let's say we want these uh, corny flowers here we can come here place some bone meal in these barrels they will go to a dispenser that is uh, here in the center yeah it was this block okay <laughs> yeah and as you can see here we have some headstone here to activate the farm so yeah, let's go up there and try to uh, turn on the farm. Yeah, so as you can see, it makes a lot of noise and we get a whole bunch of uh, flowers and also uh, seeds, right? And yeah, on the portal island here, we have a, a composter to uh, place the seeds here and get more bone meal, right? But yeah, we can get uh, pretty much all the flowers here, except of course this one that we have in the swamp, right? And the, the two tall flowers also, right? That we have in the, in the base. Yeah, so I guess that's it for the flower farms here, right? And yeah, we have a whole bunch of floating flowers. <laughs> okay, now we are in our last build to show here and this is the perimeter yeah so we are kind of floating here in a place that I built to have another portal and a shulker box loader so we can mine the stuff in just a place here and you know, it will load the shulker boxes right and I guess a little bit of a spoiler for uh, one of the next episodes yeah, we, we are mining, and yeah, I actually, <laughs> yeah, now that the mob switch is off, you can see why I, I built the mob switch. These slimes are really annoying, right? Uh, uh, especially when you are on lower layers, right? But yeah, also sometimes you are mining and you fall down in, inside a cave, right? Because yeah, you can see there is some caves inside here, right? And yeah, it's a little bit <laughs> annoying, I guess, and yeah. And yeah, also we found a bunch of bones here, right? Because you can find these fossils in swamp biomes and desert biomes, right? So there is one here, kind of a little bit outside the perimeter. There is this other one here. And there is one kind of in the center of the perimeter here. Yeah, who knows, maybe we can find another one in this 
part here. So I think we have the... I think it's 60 chunks left. Yeah, I think it's 60 chunks left we have here to mine. So yeah, we are almost there. <laughs> and yeah, also, uh, remember I had a whole bunch of insects. Yeah, that's because I built this squid farm before I started mining. Yeah, so we get a whole bunch of insects while mining here. That's why we have, yeah, it's already full again. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of insects. Yeah, guys, so I hope you guys liked this uh, world tour. And uh, if you are not subscribed yet, subscribe because then you can see what else I'm going to build here in this world, right? Or destroy because that's mostly what I do, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, if you uh, liked the video, please leave a like and share with all your Minecraft friends. So yeah, thank you for watching and I see you guys in the next episode. Bye!